What's up everybody? Today we're focusing on flaky and creamy. My name is Shane and this is It's Your Kitchen. Okay guys, so today we're making a creamy Italian chicken bake. I've already preheated my oven to 375 degrees, okay? And the first part of this is going to involve puff pastry and some chicken breast tenderloins. Alright guys, so I started out with lining up a, cookie, a large cookie sheet with some parchment paper, just because it makes everything a little easier to clean up. If you ain't got parchment paper, don't worry about it. Just spray it down with some stuff. All right, so I've unrolled the pastry dough, and we're gonna split this into about four sections. So I'm gonna find the half right here, give that a slice, and then we're gonna split those again. It only takes a few ingredients, and trust me, everybody's gonna be really impressed when you whip this one out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I bought these already cut. You can buy uh, chicken breasts and cut them yourself if you want to. It does not matter. And I got quite a bit because tomorrow I'm going to make some tacos. Because, well, it's Tuesday, so why not? All right, so we're going to add just a little bit of flavoring to this. I'm going to use some smoked paprika. Not a lot, just a little bit. You can Now you can season these up any way you want to. Um, it's totally up to you. I'm going to throw a little salt in here, of course. And a little bit of pepper. Just to make it nice and tasty. Okay. Now for the fun part. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to stretch these out. We're going to pull these around. And pinch them together, just like this. Fold them over. See what I mean? Nice, simple, and easy. Okay, guys, and we're going to do this to all four of these. All right. I'm going to cut the end off that because we don't need all that dough. Upside down, just like this. Make sure you pinch them, get, pinch them good. I'm going to lay them right on that baking sheet. All right, guys? We're going to do this to all four of these. All right, guys, now that we got all that done, um, I only put four on this sheet. You want to give them a little bit of room there. I mean, it is a puff paste, right? So the next step on this is some Parmesan cheese, okay? And then I forgot to get fresh basil, so we're going to use some of this. It's going to be fine, I promise. Don't always have to do that stuff, you know what I mean? So, I am going to give this a little help with the cheese sticking on there. I'm going to give it just a little drizzle of olive oil. You could do an egg wash as well, or I'll use the whites from an egg. It's up to you. Um, I'm just using olive oil, it's easier. I mean, this is supposed to be a simple recipe that's supposed to take only a few minutes. All right, guys, so we got that done. This will also help give it a nice brown color. You know what I mean? Let's sprinkle some grated Parmesan on top of here. I, should, I say sprinkle, but I'm piling it on there. We want all this cheesy goodness on top of that. You know what I mean? And guys, if you like the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. And if you really want to know what's going on, hit the hit the notification bell. So you'll know when I release a new video. Give us just a sprinkle of some, some basil. Um, like I said, use fresh if you got it. If you don't, this stuff works just fine. Alright, look how freaking gorgeous that already is. Wait till these come out of the oven. So we're going to throw these in our preheated, or our preheated oven. 
and we're going to let these cook for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, guys? And when we come back, about in about 20 minutes, I'm going to show you the creamy side of this meal. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. Everything in the oven is smelling super, super good. So let's get started on the creamy portion of this. All right, guys? I'm going to turn my pan up to about a medium, medium high. Let's go with medium high. We're going to get this heating up. Okay. We're going to add a little oil in there. And then we're going to get to the awesomeness of this. And the first part we're starting with is some sun-dried julienne cut tomatoes. This is where everything gets Okay guys, while this oil heats up, we're going to pull our puff pastries out. Oh yeah, that looks good. Chicken wrapped in heaven. Oh yeah. Alright, let's get on with this. So the first part thing we're going to add to this is the sun-dried tomatoes. Go with, uh, calls for about a quarter cup. Um, but hey, it's your kitchen, you add as much as you want. These things are absolutely delicious. So I'm probably going to go with, yeah, let's add a little bit more to that, because why not? Like I said, it's your kitchen, you do what you want. Let's give them a stir. On top of that, you're also going to add, we're going to pull our heat down just a little bit, some garlic. Now, this is another one of those. Oh, that smells so good. Anyways, anybody tells you that's too much garlic, you don't need them in your life. So, the next step in here is some heavy whipping cream. We're going to add about a cup and a half. And we're going to start right there. Let's give that a nice stir. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a good base for this cream. Yeah. Like I said, guys, here's the creamy part going in. Oh, this smells so delicious. You guys are going to love this recipe, I'm telling you. What we're going to do is we're going to keep stirring that, keep an eye on it, until it is uh, starting to thicken up, all right? We're going to add a little bit to it. I'm getting a little messy in the kitchen, huh? It's a good thing it's my kitchen, right? We're going to add some salt and pepper. Alright, now we're starting to get a bubble, so we're going to cut our heat back. We don't want to... don't want it to get too thick. We're going to add a little bit more of that smoked paprika, because I like it. You don't have to use it, but I'm going to. And then some red parsley face, flakes. Now, uh, paprika is not spicy. It's just flavor. This is going to add a little bit of zing to it, and it's going to be worth it. Oh, yeah, this is looking super good and tasty. Oh, man. Guys, we're about ready for plating here soon. Before we get to that... We're going to chop up some parsley to go on top of all this goodness, all right? All right, guys, let's chop up some parsley real quick. I don't need a lot on here, just a little bit to make it look tasty. Because green, you always got to have some, some green at the end, right? This is going to make them Instagram photos good, but it's also going to give you a great presentation when you set this down in front of somebody's gullet. You're going to be happy about this, let me tell you. you give this a, a little swivel so you got no big old chunks in there, right? Okay, guys, so this is starting to get pretty creamy. We're going to give this a taste, see if it needs any more salt and pepper. Mmm. 
Oh man, that that sun-dried tomato flavor is really coming through. But I think it needs just a little bit more salt. So we're gonna toss a little more salt in there. Give that a stir. I think it's about that time. So let's get ready to plate this. And then we'll give it a taste. It's time for plating and it's time to eat. Oh, delicious. All right. And this is where the creamy comes in. You gotta get Sabrina a plate too, you know? Break a little of that on there. This guy's, oh, it smells so good. Now guys, look at this. Tell me this doesn't look absolutely amazing. This is what you came for. Now we're gonna give this a bite and I'm gonna tell you just how delicious it is. So give this a nice little cut down the middle. Oh yeah. Give that a nice little spread out. Oh, oh man. Look at that. See how flaky and beautiful it is and that chicken's cooked to perfection. Guys, oh. Your family's gonna be happy about this and we, we spent no time at all doing this. Gotta get all this. Wonderful sauce in here. Mmm. Oh, the chicken's mm, super juicy. And the flakiness from the dough around that chicken is so good, guys. I mean, so good. And that sauce, super easy. We're going to do more sauces like this with different variations, but I'm telling you guys, this is delicious. I know it, and I think you'll know it too once you make it. Thanks again for showing up. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. And remember, it's your kitchen.